This once barren patch of desert in Jordan is now the country's fourth largest city. The residents here aren't Jordanians, though. They're refugees from Syria, fleeing a civil war now well into its third year. The location is called Zatari in Jordan's northwest. It's now the second biggest refugee camp in the world. In total, Jordan is home to more than half a million Syrians displaced by war. They're part of the two million that the United Nations said Tuesday had fled home for this neighboring nation, as well as Lebanon, Iraq, Turkey, and Egypt, creating a refugee crisis that's the worst since the Rwandan genocide. An average of 5,000 people flee every day, pushed now by the threat of a looming U.S. strike. These refugees are digging in, too, opening up shops and businesses. One entrepreneur here opened up a store for wedding dresses. Main streets are being carved into the desert sands. Mohammad Zatari was an AC technician in the Syrian province of Dara. He crossed into Jordan on August 6, 2012. You walk into the Souk now and you'd think you're in any of the markets of Dara or Damascus or Hama or Aleppo. There's all kinds of Syrian foodstuffs. But it's not home, Syrians will say. And the aid effort is struggling to keep up. No one wants to live here for much longer. Many families we speak to say the same thing. Every month they say, one more month. In Iraq, you hear similar stories and there are similar refugee plights. Over a three-day period in August, at least 25,000 Syrians flooded Iraq's northern Kurdistan region. Within 10 days, a camp settlement sprouted on the edges of Erbil, the capital. On a single day, up to 17,000 Syrians trekked over a small bridge that crosses over a tributary on the Tigris, separating Syria from northern Iraq. The crowds were huge. We brought people in and sent them to Erbil. The government did a good job. The UN too. Weighed down by people and their belongings, the bridge plunged to just 15 centimeters from the water's surface. Since authorities closed the bridge, a few families a day do still cross between the two countries. They say they're mostly urgent humanitarian cases. We see a family um, loading their luggage and getting ready to go back to Syria um, by boat here. Across the region, the exodus from Syria is stretching resources of host communities and creating even more instability in a part of the world already consumed by conflict. For the Wall Street Journal, this is Noor Malas reporting from Jordan, Iraq, Lebanon, and Turkey.